You gotta help me with this. He said, don't you worry, we're, we're gonna make it happen. So let's see, let's see how it happens. We're gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Did you, um, I mean, obviously you knew it was coming, but was there anything about the announcement or the reaction in the last few days that has um, stuck with you? Uh, honestly, the, I knew the announcement was gonna be good. It's gonna be, it was gonna be very energetic. But to be very honest with you, I was not expecting to have that many people and media in Mexico. Uh, uh, it was it was impressive. And I asked actually Ben this same question and say, hey, were you expecting this turn? Like he say, I was expecting something good but not this good. So it's exciting man. I am I'm very, very happy. This to me is like a dream come true. Uh obviously, you know, that was like coming from Mexico and uh, being born and raised there is something very special. The last time I raced in Mexico City was uh ten years ago. So to come back um, next year is gonna be it's gonna be very special. And the pressure is I mean, you're gonna have to win that. <laughs> I, better, I better win. Let me tell you, if, uh, if we if we do win that race, it will be for me. It will be just as important as as, as big as as win a championship. You know, it will be it will be huge. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Uh, obviously, once this one one we get into that week, you know, it's, it's just another weekend, right? But uh, but in, in reality, it's gonna be tough to 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 handle. All the the people and and and, yeah. and stuff pulling pulling me in different directions, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I feel very very grateful, very thankful to be in this position and uh, and to be living, you know, the NASCAR dream in this era. Because I was talking to to some friends, like if if I was 32 years old, 25 years ago in NASCAR, probably this wouldn't be an option. And I'm going to to Mexico, so just very very uh, very grateful. As the Atlanta winner, are you excited for that to be the first race in the playoffs? I actually think that's something pretty cool, you know. Uh, so we, that, that really definitely brings some extra energy and excitement to, into our play, playoff uh, run. So, yeah, that's, that's exciting. Uh, hopefully we can have a, a good run, hopefully a win. That would be awesome. And, uh, and then uh, just deeper. push hard, work hard, and, and, it it. and hopefully we can, we can give them that run for their money. What do you remember about the finish of that race? I look back at the video. You picked the lane. Ryan picked the lane. Kyle picked the lane. You guys all played straight up and said, "All right, let's see what happens." What, what do you think of when you think of the finish of that race, last half lap, last lap? Yeah. So it's everything about working together. You know, mainly with your manufacturer and uh, the Ford were very strong. And, uh, if you were putting the Ford together. They were going to be very strong, and and my job was to trying to split them, and um, and I did a, a good job with that. But with that being said, that uh, Austin Sandry in the two car, he was not really helping me because he knew that I was going to uh, make a wrong his team So it was a little bit tricky. Uh, luckily, the, how the things worked out for us. Uh, the 23 gave a good push to the eight, and that put him. You know, having a run to the 12, and I and I was able to stock the eight uh, to get a run on him as well. So it was it was one of those things. Honestly, to me, Atlanta uh, is it's sort of like a chess master. You know, you just have to be very strategic in your moves. You have to be fast, I and mean, everything happens so quick. But uh, yeah. but yeah, it's very important just to work with uh, with your manufacturer. How is it How is it different from the bigger tracks like uh, Talladega and Daytona? It's similar, but it's different. Everything happens so quick. Uh, no. Absolutely. You know the pushes and the stuff they, they they do happen similar but everything happens so quick and you have to have a very good handling car because all the, the corners are tighter so you you have to have a very good handling car as well so it's a it's a hybrid you know it's not super speedway it's not gonna have anymore uh so it's a it's a hybrid and, and and i think because of that we all love it you know it's just a very different kind of racetrack i i, I personally already am biased by now but uh, i i enjoy racing a lot a lot daniel let's go back to next year again but this time let's go to bowman gray in the clash you raced that canyon race 10 or so years ago what do you remember about bowman gray and what do you look forward to about the clash this year you know the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about Bob and Gray is uh, the very first time I raced there, I wrecked and I and I hit with I hit my best friends uh, very hard with the belts. Somehow the belts I don't know if they were wrong or what. <laughs> and I remember oh shit. Uh, it was a good experience, but uh, well, the second time uh, I ran actually with it pretty well. I think we start something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's. The fans, you know, that, that's the thing that comes to my mind. You know, the fans are super passionate. Everyone wants to fight each other. <laughs> so I think it's going to be fun. Uh, to have the coffee there is going to be a lot of fun. Growing up in Mexico, how have you seen the country's, you know, interest and in fandom in NASCAR kind of 
change and grow over the years? Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, you know, the the culture in Mexico is they, they love they love more sports. Uh, they, they they've been loving more sport for a very long time, and and I feel like slowly you know that has also changed into NASCAR. You know, NASCAR is a is, is a very very important uh, sport for for Mexico, and it continues to grow. Uh, uh, with the NASCAR Mexico Series and now the Cup Series going over there. So it's going to be a big deal. And, uh, there is a lot of people who are super excited. Like I said, the turnout of the media and the people in the announcement, it was way above what I was expecting. So super excited and super grateful. If, if, you, were in a, if you were to walk around Monterrey, Mexico City, would people are all over recognize who you are instantly? They, they do. I mean, not all over, but uh, they do. Uh, if, if I go to a place where... I mean, as soon as I landed in Mexico City, uh, I was in immigration and I got recognized me right there. So, I mean, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to say that uh, everyone recognized me, but some people do. All right, thank you. Give off. Steven Stump of FrontChurch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.